Hey there everyone, I had a bit of a funny flight a couple weeks ago, it was actually um, uh, my first flight after getting my private pilot license, uh, I took a friend up and I had what I thought to be at the time a alternator failure, leaving the complete glass panel which was in front of me uh, black. Uh, ended up having to do a radio failure procedure coming back into Bankstown. Uh, in some marginal weather and um, got the green light from the tower and, and landed but I coincidentally had been testing the GoPro at that stage so I've got all this GoPro footage of the flight takeoff um, assessing the, the problem and then part of coming back into Bankstown but my electronics was slowly um, dying after the battery had gone flat and um, uh, yeah so the, the GoPro actually ran out of battery before I was able to film the landing but it's pretty interesting to see uh, the process I went through to be able to problem solve it um, I'm a pretty inexperienced pilot so hopefully you watching this if anyone ends up watching this um, <clears throat> can take one or two things away from it uh, and hopefully not end up making the same mistake I did. Um, yeah, look, I'm still pretty green, so I'd rather share these stuff ups, even though they might be pretty embarrassing at the time, than um, just sweep them under the rug and, and uh, not be a learning experience, essentially. So hopefully you enjoy, I'll play the GoPro footage now um, and then at the end of it I'll give you a little bit more of an in-depth recap of uh, what actually happened and what the result of it was. So enjoy. Alright, All right, let's do this. P's and P's are in the green, so these are all our um, revs, temperature, uh, oil pressure. Oil pressure always start in the green. Thanks, Sound Transformation Charlie. From my turn on right for Arbus and departure, frequency 132, decimal 8. From my turn on the left for circuit training, frequency 123, decimal 6. From my right. turn on the in use, wind variable 5 knots. Disagreeing the one zero kilometers, showers in the area. Collapse view 2,600 feet. Temperature 13, QNH 1027. On first contact, Bankstown, Tower Ground, notify receipt, information Charlie. Bankstown Ground, Charlie Papa Foxtrot is going to proceed OCTA to Bathurst via contender. Charlie Papa Foxtrot, copy to OCTA. Uh, when ready, taxi holding for now for 8, runway 2 9 right. Hold for now for 8, runway 2 9 right, Charlie Papa Foxtrot. Bankstown Ground, Uniform Romeo Delta on Alpha, we have all runways for request, taxi to Juliet. Uniform Romeo Delta Ground, taxi to Juliet. Taxi to Juliet, Uniform Romeo Delta. Bankstown Ground, Cherokee, Victor Foxshot, Charlie, at Alpha, we receive the information, Charlie, request, taxi to Juliet, and departure. Speak to Foxshot. Bankstown Ground, Warrior Lima, X-Ray, Quebec, uh, on mic, uh, in receipt of Charlie, requesting uh, uh, for an upwind departure. Requesting taxiway clearance for an upwind departure. Lima X Ray Quebec. To back ground, taxi holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right. Taxi to holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right, Lima X Ray Quebec. I could be in a while, mate. Mate, that's so good that you just know it all. Oh, impressive shit. I haven't been in a plane for four weeks and like trying to get the language back. Thanks out Tower, Warrior Lima, X-Ray Quebec at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right, ready for an upwind departure. Lima, X-Ray Quebec, runway right, line up. Lining up, runway right, Lima, X-Ray Quebec. So we just line up and pretty much wait for them to give us clearance and take off. Yeah. 
Oh, checking. Oh, it's working. Yeah, uh, yeah. Limax, right Quebec, runway right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, Limax, right Quebec. <laughs> so we just applied full power. Quite a bit of rudder with this one, because he's got a bit of go. And just watch the in engine instruments as we're taking off. So, tacos are good, airspeed's rising. Yep. And we get to about 60 knots and then rotate. Control between arms arriving in operating area. We can operate down to about 500 feet. We're just uh, looking for a young child. We're 23 copy. Holy shit. Can you hear them okay? What's that? Can you hear the radio okay? Yeah, yeah. Clear to right, Oh, it's a bit, got a bit quiet there. Oh my god, this is insane. Man, this is different flying with the uh, glass cockpit, I tell ya. Like the screens. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Something uh, different. Uh, helicopter into the air. And then, yeah, we get to a thousand feet and level off. Yep. A bit higher. A bit there. Then we're heading for these towers that are over here. Yeah. Hey, I can't hear shit actually. Yeah, I haven't got them on. Um, having trouble? A lot of static. Let's try and get them. Thanks, out tower. Radio check. Lima X ray Quebec. X ray Quebec. X ray tower. Reading you for. Radio check. Lima X ray Quebec. Lima X ray Quebec. Thanks, out tower. Uh, this uh, radio check from Lima X-Ray Quebec. Uh, reading you loud and clear, readability force. Yeah, as we're heading out, there's like all these squalls, like the rain. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be like the whole way down to um, Bell Harbour. So we'll go to Camden. Yep. Uh, if it's too looks, much. If it looks like it opens up, we'll, we'll give it a crack. Yeah. I got them. I heard the radio before when you asked them. Did yep. you hear that as well? Yeah, yeah. I've got I've got him loud and clear now. So brilliant. I'll just put it on to the other the other comms. Yeah. Um. That was that was nothing. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything before. Yeah. Huh? No, it was pretty quiet. It's a bit off. And the weather's pretty marginal. Might just do a couple laps and maybe some steep turns and stuff. Yeah, mate. Absolutely. Don't don't feel like we have to you know do anything through. No, it's mate, gonna be impossible to get down there, I think. Yeah. Mate, this is insane. That's handy. Even, even better when the glass cockpit just... <laughs> I've got... Oh, it's gone a bit patchy. I reckon it's about to go. Turn around. There's Camden over there, just in front of us. 11 o'clock, there's a runway there, and a little bit of a grass oh, area is yeah. cleared. Yeah, I've lost my screen as well. <laughs> That's funny. Just saying, like, oh yeah, it's the first time I've flown like this glass <laughs> cockpit, and the whole thing just goes black. <laughs> Why do you reckon it does that? I don't think they want us to fly today, I don't know. Yeah. But, like, I don't know, fuck knows, man. All the circuit breakers are in. Yep. Gonna put it into safe slow. Give us a bit of time to figure this out. Yep. Keep an eye out for um traffic here and there. Yep. Is the radio still working? Nothing's working. Turn it off. Turn it on again. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Nothing has ever like gone wrong like this before. <laughs> well, if there's anything I can do, I've got the map here. You got the map here? <laughs> well, no, I know. I know where we are. All oh, right. Can you radio in and tell them? It's not working though. That's the problem. All oh, right. Sort of sitting it in. Safe, slow. Hopefully we'll. Some sort of love from it. 
Checking all of the circuit breakers, they're all in. Yeah, all circuit breakers are in. Uh, the Onyx is on. You want to just see, just see if there's a, um, uh, a circuit breaker there or a fuse. Uh, that is called. Um, there's COM1 and COM2. Uh, that's still going. Um, but the the panels, so the avionics, it should say avionics or something. There's panel. Yep. Panel. Uh, not that one. Not oh, that sorry. one. Uh, battery, alt field, MFD, PFD, DAU, standby fuel pump, still worn, pilot heat, start and act, anti coal, nav. Sorry, did you say nav or radio? Land taxi panel. Uh, nav. Nav? Yeah, they, they all pushed in. They all pushed in. Yeah, nav's pushed in. Go through and give them all a, a, a push, but just. They want for alternator. I think what's happened, we've had an alternator failure, and um, we don't have any power right. left at all. So, they'll take us back. And I'm going to have to, um, so long as I've got an altimeter, then I can come in at 1,500, do the uh, radio, fa uh, radio failure um, procedures, and that will be able to give us the green light to be able to land. Got a bit of traffic out there, looks quite low. But oh yeah, no, that's cool. I think he's doing laps up and down that pipeline. No worries. Can I call, like, Bankstown Airport or something? Um... Yeah, I could probably call someone, actually. Yep. Um, yeah, so um, as you can see, um, there were a few things along the flight that were probably noticeable or should have been taken note of um, that should have kept the flight on the ground. Firstly, the um, voltage warning coming off the glass panel. Um, secondly, the communications and instruments starting to go um, and so on and so forth. There, what the actual problem was and where I stuffed up or where I fucked up um, getting started was <clears throat> I'd never flown that plane before. Um, I did get a briefing from one of the senior instructors on how to operate the glass panel, um, but I was still using my old Warrior 2 uh, checklist. So in the other Warriors uh, that I've flown, quite a lot uh, recently, they have one switch, well there's two switches exactly side by side for the battery and the alternator. And when you go through your checklist, you turn them both on at the same time and that means your battery comes on or your master switch comes on and your alternator comes on. Simple shit, I know, I know. <laughs> and it's kind of a bit of a joke to look back on it now. But in this particular warrior, the battery switch is over here and then the alternator switch is on, well, just to the right of the battery master switch. Um, I didn't turn the alternator on, so we started up, taxied out, battery was going flat, voltage warning comes on, take off, those glass screens or those big display screens are drawing a hell of a lot of power. Battery is running out, still no charge. I get midway into the flight and I go, hmm, maybe I actually didn't switch the alternator switch on. Flicked it on. <clears throat> it was too far gone. Battery was completely drained. Um, and then, yeah, went through the rest of the flight. At the end of the GoPro footage there, you can see us coming back into Bankstown. Um, I had to make two attempts at 
flying over overhead the aerodome and rocking my wings to get the green light from the tower. Uh, it was pretty marginal weather, so apparently the first time we came over, they did actually see us and did give us the green light, but I wasn't confident that it was a strong enough green light for us, or I didn't actually get a, vis a good visual on that green light. So I made the decision to go back out and hold in the training area until there was uh, the weather had passed or the showers had passed and then I'd make my approach again. The first one was coming in through via prospect and the second one I went back around some of the little shower fronts and came back in over to our end um, and uh, yeah got a positive green light from the tower, uh, joined downwind for runway 29 and um, and uh, yeah, came into land. So <clears throat> look, the whole experience was a bit embarrassing, but like I said at the start of the video, uh, we'd be better off learning from it and um, taking a few things away. Now I know to definitely check to flick on the alternator switch um, as well as the battery master. But hey, you know, I guess, it's probably a thing for life in general actually is like if you can't learn from it then um, learn from your mistakes then you're not really going to get that far so I guess this is the start of more things to come in the learning process anyway hopefully you enjoyed I was a little bit embarrassed to share this but yeah I think it's good for the broader community and you know, if there are any more junior pilots that are more junior than me that are going to make some silly mistakes like that and then they watch this and they don't and it uh, is of benefit, then, you know, it's all good. So, thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully you took something away from this little video.